is going on everybody? Today we are going fishing. I'm very excited, but we have to get a couple things together before we can go ahead and head out there. So let's go ahead and uh, get all this stuff together. We've got the essentials right here. This is number one essential. This is Bojangles. For anybody that doesn't know what Bojangles is, you are missing out. But all my uh, southern people, I'm pretty sure these are only in the south. All my southern people, they know what's up with Bojangles. Then we got our old coasters right here. Old GoPro, and then we got some uh, camera stuff. So let's go ahead and get all this stuff packed up, and then we have to go get our rods. All right, so I think we are going to go with the classic rod, the one that we use in like every video. We're gonna go ahead, snag this rod, and I need to find my backpack. I used to have like a North Face backpack, but I lost it. I, I don't know. I think somebody might have taken it from my house by accident. But I think we're going to use this one today instead. I don't even know what the heck is in here. Got a couple boxes. This is hooks. I don't know what this is. I think there's some crankbaits. Yeah, this is like the juice box right here. But we're going to go ahead and get this loaded up. And then we're going to go ahead, head out to one of my favorite little honey holes. So the plan for today is we're going to go try to fish a river spot. It's one of my favorite spots. I've caught a lot of big fish there, especially on top water. Really want to try to throw some top water, see if I can catch some in the shaded areas. But it has been raining. And the rivers around here are very iffy whenever it rains. They fluctuate, get high, muddy. So that's, I mean, that just shuts off the fish. But we're gonna try it. If not, I have a good backup spot we'll go to. I know we're gonna get on some fish today. I just wanna get on those big ones. So uh, let's go ahead and head down there and see what we can get on. All right, I think we're ready to go. Oh yeah, and if you guys didn't notice, Sixth Sense has these rod sleeves. They're different, they're like kind of like a cloth type material but these things are freaking dope like check this thing out look at this like a camo look at that that's freaking cool i love those things if you guys want to get any of these you can go ahead and go on their website they got them on the website use my code you get 10 percent off eight up ten these are freaking dope well it's uh it's not terrible but it's not great we were down here at the river and i was really hoping really 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 hoping the water would be clear hoping that it would be down um, the water is decently clear. It's semi-clear, especially on the edges. But the water is still up. This right here actually should be out of the water. Um, usually it is. And that's usually whenever you catch them the best is when the water's like that. But we'll see. Water's a little cold, to be honest with you. I really thought it was going to be warm today. It's really hot. Really thought it was going to be pretty warm but uh, maybe not. We're gonna work our way up here because this is where the good spot is. Right here where I am standing though is usually just rocks, no water. So the water is definitely up a little bit. You can tell, I mean, it's up probably about six inches. We'll see. So before we get up to our good spot, I really wanna change baits as far as what I have tied on. I have a popper on this rod and this was for me fishing the other day. Didn't really catch that many, um, but it is what it is. We, uh, we're gonna put on the buzz bait or I don't know. I, I can't make up my mind as to what I wanna use. I think we might use the buzz bait because we have a little bit more moving water. You know, I think that the buzz bait is probably gonna be the best option I am gonna have to change out my trailer because it's a little ripped. I think the old buzz bait is gonna be the best option today because the water is moving decently fast in some of these areas. And this buzz bait is gonna be able to cover that water pretty easily, a lot better than something like a popper. Oh no. This is my money spot right up here. And it looks like there's a tree branch that fell right in front of the best spot. Literally, it fell right in front of the absolute best spot. If you throw on that tree, every time you catch one, literally. But I can't even throw to it anymore because there's a big tree branch right in the way. That freaking sucks, dude. There's a little hole over there in the tree I'm trying to throw in.
I can't believe my spot got ruined like that from a freaking tree branch. We can still cast on it from up here, but it's usually best to hit it from this angle. All right, we just put on a black frog. I'm gonna throw this around, and if they won't eat this, then we're gonna go ahead and dip. I mean, I can probably catch them on something else here, but like, when I'm at this spot, I just love catching them on top water. Like, that's like the best thing, and that's how you get those big bites. So I'm hoping that this thing, since it moves a little bit slower and it kind of floats, maybe that'll like make them want to eat it. I don't really know. Never actually tried a frog here before. So might be interesting. Might work good. Might work terrible. I really just don't know. I used a snake here one time. Call him a snake. They're going to be in the little current breaks. Which is where my frog is at right now. So I don't know why they won't hit it. Unless they're just like, they just don't want to come up for top water. I think I just missed one. I think one just hit it. I don't really know. I wasn't really paying that much attention. We're going to go to a different spot. I think the water's gonna be a little bit slower, a little bit clearer. And we might can find some that are in some pools. That's how this is supposed to be. There's supposed to be pools of water here, not just a whole creek. So, I don't know. We're just going to uh, have to have to see. We are at spot number two. A lot clearer and the water is a lot warmer because it's shallow, which is a good thing because the fish should be more active. I'm kind of sad because the more and more I walk around, I see beds, which makes me sad because I had the best bed fishing year literally ever here. Like it was amazing. So really wish they were back on bed, but they're just not. I see a bass right now. I see two bass right now. I wonder if they're on bed. They could be on a bed. I don't know. They're kind of just chilling right there. They're probably too small to even eat this thing, to be honest. This is a big crankbait. Like a freaking big... Oh, there's one following it already. I'm not even playing. As soon as I casted that in there, one started following it. I think they're going to be really active because it's warm. Like, this water is extremely warm. Oh, that's actually not a bad one right there. That's a decent little fish. Let's let's change up real quick, because we're running out of daylight. I think I can catch these pretty easily. Shouldn't be too bad. A little six cents swim jig with a divine swim bait on the back of it. I mean, it's worth a shot, isn't it? I mean... He's definitely interested. It's literally almost like the fish is on a bed. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, it's sitting in the same spot constantly. He's looking at my bait right now. Oh my gosh, that one wants it. Holy cow, dude. I swear, some of these fish are still bedding. I'm not even kidding. This little bass right here is on a bed. I'm about to catch it on a bed, literally. He's nose down on me right now. He's on a bed in June. Literally on a bed in June. That is so freaking weird. Oh, she is mad, dude. This is a little tiny one. Like it is a freaking small bass. Like it's really small. Like it probably can't even eat this. It's really that small. Oh, but the big girl's coming on that bed too. There's literally two fish on a bed right here in June. Yo, I put new line on this reel and it is just like not hitting right now. 
usually go with the old cigar didn't have any and this is what happens i'm just trying to catch a bedfish yo in june i think it'll be my first time i've ever caught a bedfish in june in north carolina like that is very 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 late i'm telling you if i had a smaller bait it'd be game over <laughs> I really want to catch one on this jig. I haven't caught one on one of these things in forever. Oh my gosh, dude. She is so angry. She is literally so angry. Or he. This is the small one that I'm kind of messing around with. The other one's sitting there too. All right. Y'all already know. I got to do it to them. Anybody who has been a part of the A-Dub gang knows that if they won't hit this, this is exactly what they'll hit right here. <laughs> like anybody who has watched this channel for the past two months knows that I have a bug in my ear. No, I'm just kidding. I do have a bug in my ear though. Everybody knows that the divide swim bait on a swim bait hook is like a go-to bed fishing lure. Didn't think these fish were on bed, but they are on bed. Like 150%, they're on bed in June. Like it's like 85 degrees outside and like they really shouldn't be on bed, but they are. All right, there she is right there. This is gonna catch them. They're not big. I mean, they're really not that big. I mean, they're kind of small, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, she just picked it up. I bumped one of them right in the side of the face. Oh baby. Then it was on, like game on. I can't believe they're on a bed, dude. I just cannot believe they're on bed right now. I needed to eat the whole bait, gone. Okay, it just had it there. I should have set the hook. Not gonna lie, really should have just set the hook. Got the decent one. I think this is the decent one. This might be the small one. Golly, boy. Calm your butt down. I don't know if this is the decent one or the small one. I don't know. Like I said, they're not big. I mean, I straight up told everybody they're not that big. But, hey, they're on bed. I'm, I'm going to catch them, dude. I don't, that's my favorite kind of fishing. I can't really get down here, so I'm just going to drop him. There she goes. Swims right off. All right, time to catch number two. Oh my gosh, if my freaking reel will cast. All right, I think that was the bigger one. We're gonna try to catch the smaller one now. Golly, dude. I just wanna catch it for the A-Dub gang, bro. Just won't eat it all the way. Eat it all the way, please, Jimbo. Nope. Didn't eat all the way. Too small. Fish is literally so small it can't eat the whole swim bait. Takes it, swims off the bed. Takes it, swims off the bed. There it goes again. Same deal. Bump it right in the face right there. Oh yeah. Got him that time. Get up in here, finally. Heck no. These are the most freaking shaky bass. Stop it, Jim Bob. Golly, dude, finally got a freaking good hook in that one. About time. I mean, oh my gosh. I, I mean, I said it was small. I mean, look at the swim bait compared to that bass. I said it was small, but uh, finally caught him at least. I mean, I hooked him plenty of times finally caught him though we gotta see what time it is i'm gonna get locked in this joint if i'm not careful if they're on bed i know the perfect little spot to go to but i just don't know if i have enough time to hike up there all right got a small one right here on bed oh she's active too
I'm gonna catch this one real quick. There we go. <laughs> There's like an eight pounder right here. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna wait to catch it though. One of my buddies is coming. He's gonna film me. I make YouTube videos. Okay, cool. So he's gonna, he's gonna get it on there for me. Nice little fish. Y'all ever do any bass fishing or what? There, there's a bed here. There's a bed here. And there's two or three beds right here. It's hard to see them. The water's not super clear, but since I got my sunglasses, I can see them decent. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a game changer. All right, everybody. So that was fish number one. I'm waiting on Chaz to come so I can catch this big one. I mean, there is a freaking big one right here on bed. I mean, it's a giant. It's six, seven pounds. See if we catch this small one real quick. What I'm doing is I'm standing up farther. You can usually see them better if you're higher. So I'm gonna stand here. Oh yeah. I feel like it, Elmo comes out when he gets happy. He's yeah. Fishing, happy. Oh my gosh. I'll leave you alone. Hey no, I can I can catch it again. It's just they're not they don't eat it all the way, you know what I mean? Because when they're bed fit, they're just trying to move it. They're not trying to eat it. Oh yeah, I came down here yesterday and I had one over over on the other side and I hooked it three times before I actually could get it in. Which it was a small one, but I just I kept throwing the same bait and I mean, it, it still hit it. This one will hit it again. Cause she's pissed. I mean, she is mad. Oh man, she had it in her mouth and then she just completely just let it go. Got him. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Whatever. Quick release. It is freaking terrible fishing on this sand. Literally terrible. Because every time you just slip and fall, these fish keep coming unpinned. But that does count. About a two pounder. I'll count it just because I touched the fish. I didn't get to hold it up, but I did touch it. So we'll say that that counts. All right, everybody, that is where we are going to end off the video. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way through. A lot of people really don't, so uh, you guys are the loyal A-Dub gang, and I really appreciate it. If you guys don't mind, go ahead, leave a big thumbs up on this video if you haven't already, and go ahead, leave me a comment down below. Give me some video ideas. I've been kind of all over the place on what I want to film, so go ahead, leave me some videos down below, and I'll get those made for you guys real quick. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Until next time, go catch them.